Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this, in this tutorial, I am going to talk about Delta Lake table instance. In Databricks development, when we are developing Delta Lake, we can create multiple instances for each Delta table. So in this video, I will give more idea about table instances. First of all, we need to understand what is Delta table instance and what is the usage of that. What is Delta table instance? Table instance is nothing but a replica of actual delta table. This table instance will just create a soft link to the actual table. So basically it will not create another copy of the actual delta table. But instead of that, it will just create a soft link. Which means if, even if you are going to perform any DML operations on the in table instance, still it will be reflect it would be reflecting in the actual table or if you are performing any modification in the actual table that would be that would be reflected in the table instance so delta table instance is nothing but soft link to the actual table but we have already table name to refer the table but why do we need table instance what is the usage of it basically in order to perform any dml operation in delta table we are depending on sql uh, sql language Using SQL query, you know, we can either select the data or we can update, delete. Now, basically, we can perform any DML operation using SQL uh, statement on top of Delta Lake table. But in some project or, you know, some developer, you know, they are, uh, they are not interested to, for, to use SQL standard. Maybe they, as per their project standard, they have to f follow only PySpark. So, in case we have to perform any DML operation on top of uh, Delta table, then using the table name, we cannot do that. So for that, first we have to create table instance. Then using the table instance, using PySpark language, we can uh, perform any DML operations. So that is the usage of table instance. I hope uh, you, uh, you are clear on this part. Coming to syntax, in order to create a table instance, you know, there are two different syntaxes. Either we can use path or we can use table name. Using path, this is the syntax. It starts with delta table dot for path. Then we have to give keyword spark. Then we have to give the path. The path uh, where we have created delta table. In the next syntax using table name. For that, we have to use the syntax delta table dot for name. Here we, gave, we have given for path. Here we have we, we have to give for name then uh, the keyword spark then we have to give the table name this is the syntax uh, let's get started with the demo i have logged into my databricks environment and cluster is up and running so in the first step i'm going to create one delta table so here i'm using pyspark programming language using that i'm creating a delta table table is employee underscore demo and the location is file store tables delta create table this is the location where i am creating the delta table so let me execute this simple delta table is containing five columns related to employee let me execute this step the execution is successful and delta table got created in the name of employee underscore demo at the location file store tables delta create table now for our demo purpose, I want to populate some record, some sample record. So I am executing insert statement in SQL magic command. Let me execute this step. The execution is successful. Now we have created delta table and also we have populated uh, data. But in real time projects, generally you know, we don't insert the data using this method. We used to create delta table directly based on the data frame. So we don't need to consider these two steps in the real-time project. But let's assume now, you know, we have created delta table and we have populated some data. I want to see the data inside the delta table. So for that, we have to use SQL language, SQL command select. Let me execute this step. So here we can see the output. There are three records. Now let us assume, you know, in a project we have created delta uh, delta table you know based on the data frame so we haven't used any sql even as per our project standard we are not supposed to use any sql statement so i have to query the table you now the uh, i have to uh, query the table i have to create some command equivalent to this sql statement how i can do so for that we have to create table instance so first i am creating a table instance i am uh, naming it to delta instance 1 and the syntax is delta table dot for path then a spark is the keyword then i have to give the 
location where we have created the delta table. So in our table creation, we have used this path to create the table. So this is the location we have used. So based on the same location, I am creating my first instance of the table. So this, this is the instance. Let me execute this step. Now the execution is successful and we have created one instance. Now I want to see the data, same like select, SQL select statement. For that, the simple uh, thing is, you know, this uh, instance should be converted to data frame using 2DF, then we can display. So I am executing. This is equivalent to SQL statement that we are executing in SQL. Let me execute this step. Here you can see, this is same output what we got from SQL statement. So this is how, in case you, know, you want to avoid SQL statement, you want to develop solution only using PySpark, then we can create Delta instance and based on that, we can query the table like this. And let's say now I have to delete one record <coughs> in, the, uh, in the Delta table. So here I have given you know, one delete statement. This is the delete statement. So I want to make equivalent statement in uh, PySpark programming. How I can do? Then I can go with, this is the uh, instance that we have created for Delta table. Then the simple syntax is dot delete. Then we have to give the condition inside. So for example, let me do one thing. Let me execute in SQL statement first. We are deleting the employee ID equal to 100. So execution is successful. Now using the select statement, I'm going to query, which means it will return only two records. Earlier we had three records, including employee ID equal to 100. Now we have deleted, so it will have only two. <coughs> so this is you know, directly we are getting from the table, uh, using the table name. But now already we have created one uh, table instance. Let me execute that once again. This is the instance. Still, you know, we haven't deleted anything from the instance. Let me execute this one. Now we will be able to see only two records, which means, you know, this instance and the actual table, you know, both are, uh, both are same. Both are pointing to same uh, memory. So that's the reason if I'm going to query using PySpark, still it will return only two records. Because whatever the uh, whatever the operations we are performing on top of instance or table, you know, both will reflect to each other. Let me execute this step. See here, the employee ID equal to 100 that got removed. Now, I can show you using instance. So using instance, now you know I want to uh, delete the employee ID 200 also. So it, it would remain, you know, it would, it would be left with only one record. So let me execute this step. So the syntax is instance dot delete. Then within the bracket, we have to give the condition. Let me execute. See, the execution is successful. Now I am going to display based on PySpark table instance. See here, it's returning only one record. Even though I'm going to query based on the table name using SQL, still it will return only one record. Yes, both are same. Here you can see, I hope you understood, you know, how uh, both are related to each other and what is table instance. Now I'm going to show you the syntax for the second approach. In the second approach, you know, instead of uh, path, we can use for name also. So in this syntax, we have to give table name dot for name, delta table dot for name, then the keyword spark within that we have to give the table name. Table name is employee demo. That is what we have created above. Employee demo. Now, based on this uh, table name, I'm going to create second instance. This is my second instance, Delta instance two. Let me execute this one. Now I'm going to display because in the actual table, we inserted three records, but later we have removed two records. There would be only one record. So even though I have created another instance, still it will be pointing to same table. So it will return only one record. Let me execute this step. Here we can see, now we have created another instance using a table name. Still it is pointing to same table. And now we can perform DML operations uh, in PySpark programming you know, using Delta instance. And not only DML operations, you know, other operations that we are performing using SQL command, everything can be performed using Delta instance. For example, in order to get the history for this particular uh, Delta table, normally in SQL, we used to write command 
describe history then the table name so let me execute this one it's giving you know the table history what are the operations we have performed on this table so far now we created the table then we inserted three records then after that we deleted two records now everything is recorded in the history the same uh, you know equivalent operations can be performed using pyspark uh, programming using this command delta instance two dot history let me execute this step it will give the same output it's the same output so the conclusion is delta table instance is nothing but replica of master table the actual table but uh, still it is pointing to same memory it's not creating any uh, separate copy so whatever the operations we are performing on actual table or instance it would be reflecting to each other and what is the use of this if you want to follow only pyspark or scala programming within the notebook then we can go with uh, delta table instance creation i hope you understood and enjoyed this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment the video in youtube channel please subscribe this channel and don't forget to cl uh, click on the bell button thank you